All right, so this video is on the composition of functions. It's a continuation of the of the operations on functions video uh, that you uh, that you hopefully saw earlier. All right, so the operations on functions video consisted of of uh, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing functions. Something you're probably familiar with. So this composition of functions might be a new concept. Here's how it's defined: if f and g are functions, then the composite function, or simply just composition, of f and g is, make note of this new symbol, a new operation symbol. It's an open circle. We read this as f composed with g. All right, so this little open circle means composition. So instead of a plus sign or a minus sign or a division sign, um, it's just a new operation symbol. It's defined to be the following. f of g of x. Now that may look kind of weird, um, but this is not multiplication. This is really taking the g function, the second function here, and putting it into the f function wherever there is an x. All right. So let's uh, let's look at some examples. All right. So suppose we have. Uh, f to be x squared plus 3x minus 1, and g of x is 2x minus 5. We want to find and simplify the following. f composed with g of x. That's how you read that, f composed with g of x. Now, I highly, highly encourage you to, re to write out to the right here what this notation here is defined to be. It will make things go a lot smoother. All right, so this is defined to be f of g of x. I'd write it out like such. Okay, that's just straight from the definition. All right, so now line up your equal sign. And what we're going to do here is we're going to work from, say, the inside out. We know what g of x is. g of x is 2x minus 5. So we're just going to replace that g of x with 2x minus 5. Right, everybody see that? That the, these two lines have to be true because g of x is the same thing as 2x minus 5, so we're just replacing it. Now, this is not multiplication. We are not multiplying f times 2x minus 5. That's the most common error. What we are doing is evaluating the f function at the g function. In other words, we're taking um, 2x minus 5, and we're going to evaluate it into the f function here wherever we see our independent variable x. Okay. So our next line down here then would be, all right, go to the f function, which is this one, wherever we see an x, put in 2x minus 5. So we have 2x minus 5 squared, because we're plugging in right there for x, plus 3 times 2x minus 5, because we're plugging 2x minus 5 in for that x right there, and then minus 1. Everybody see that? Okay, and then we're just going to simplify all this up. 2x minus 5 squared, that's a binomial squared, so we write that as 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5 and multiply it all out. And when you do that, you get 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. All right, I'm going to leave that to you guys to figure out. Then we have plus, distribute your 3 through, 6x minus 15, and then minus 1. And then just combine up like terms. So we have 4x squared minus 14x, because negative 20x plus 6x is negative 14x, and then 25 minus 15 minus 1 would be a positive 9. So we've got this new function down here, f composed with g of x equals 4x squared minus 14x plus 9. You're taking two functions, we're putting the second function into the first function wherever we see an x, and getting out a brand new function. Now in calculus, uh, typically what we have is a function, and we need to figure out what the two functions are that make up that function, that compose that function. In other words, we go from this line down here back to what f and g are respectively. Right? But that's that's for a later discussion. 
All right, so let's try one more. All right, so now we're going to find number two, G composed with F of X. So make note, G is now the first function, and F is the second function. So according to the definition, this is written as G of F of X. Okay. And now working from the inside out, we have g of, and x is x squared plus 3x minus 1. And now we say, all right, we need to go to the g function, and wherever we see an x, we need to plug in x squared plus 3x minus 1. Well, remember, g of x was 2x minus 5. So we get 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 1, and then minus 5, because we're replacing that x with two x squared plus 3x minus 1. And then you simplify. And so you get 2x squared plus 6x minus 2 minus 5 gives you a minus 7. Okay, And this is the function g of f of x. All right, again, we took two functions, put the f function into the g function where we see an x, and got out a brand new function. Now make note, f composed with g and g composed with f, uh, they're not the same functions. Everybody agree? 4x squared minus 14x plus 9, not the same thing as 2x squared plus 6x minus 7. So order matters. Which is the first function and which is the second function matters when you're doing composition. The composition operation is not commutative. All right, so please make note, and then make note of that when you go write out the definition here of what's the first and what's second. All right, that's the concept on composition of functions. I highly encourage you to write out what it's defined to be, and then work from your work from the inside out, and then just let the math take care of everything else. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.